uh, finals on her home track, Mike Meyer Stadium in Austin. How, how did that 2 double feel and compare to Brian Clay? I think it felt way smoother. I feel like once you hit that time, like it, you kind of feel, you kind of know how it feels, even though you haven't run it that many times. But it's just a, a matter of feel. And you know, the competition, I knew like I was going to see people who I saw in Brian Clay, and that kind of made me like very happy just to know. I was, it felt familiar, and I don't know, it just felt really good. I didn't know it, that was the time until I hit the, I hit the cross the finish line, and I was very happy. Absolutely. I mean, when, uh, when the track portion of the schedule starts off with the Clayton record, and every, it's seemingly everybody's getting cues, right? I mean, just how, how good is the energy band? I mean, it seems like, you know, up until this point, like the group could, couldn't have been set up any better. Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, my teammates are amazing, and I'm always amazed, even during practices, they're working their tails off and uh, you know my respects to them so seeing them like perform the way they did on day one is just amazing and it's just you know elevates the energy and just motivates you and, like wants you to be better and just do like great performances out there so do you feel like you got some extra cheers out there i did i saw my family and some of my high school coaches and you know, high school friends and college teammates. So it was just amazing to have that, like the, their voices there, excited. they're very distinguishable. So it was really nice to have that before and after my race. So. How many people would you say are here for you? Uh, I would say like half my team, maybe all, my whole team. And maybe like 15 plus people, yeah. Obviously for everyone else too, but it was just really nice to have them here. What do you expect the finals going to be like? I don't know. I mean, like, you know, I just, I hope I do, like, I mean, I just want to do my very best. I want to uh, maybe PR again. Hopefully that's that's a goal. And, you know, you know, just give it all my all. It's my last my last uh, meet here uh, as a student athlete. So I just want to give it my all. I know everyone here is so talented. So I expect nothing but greatness from everyone in the, in the field. So. The fact that, uh, that, you, uh, that you ran 2 double and, uh, and obviously it, it felt so smooth and you were so under control, like, uh, does, does, you know, does that give you, you know, kind of just that encouragement or that optimism that if 159 is asked, you know, because I mean obviously I don't have to explain to you the fact that multiple women in this field can do so, I mean, but is that the most encouraging takeaway today that you know that there's more there if it's asked? Yes, definitely. I think like knowing that you can hit that time more than once like makes you more confident about yourself and like the training that my coach you know my teammates and I have put in so I think like I feel very confident and just excited to see what the future holds the near future today you've won two flat a few times this year right uh this is my second time running two flat yes okay. so what was your PR before the season this season before the season my PR was a 203 I believe okay yeah 203 high and that's so, crazy. Yeah. Where did that come from? Yeah, I don't know. Just practice and practice. You know, we were always aiming to, you know, shave time from the from the 800 and just like seeing that progress every year, like one to two seconds, it just made me very confident and just encouraged me to like to know that I can do it. Yeah. So. Do you change anything up this year? Um, just the attitude. Maybe I think like you know sometimes I have like imposter syndrome and I think like reminding myself that I you know I belong and just as much as anyone here does. I think just changing that attitude and just having goals every week for the next race is also like something I changed this year, I think. Who coaches you? Uh, Patty Sue Plummer. Okay. She's amazing. So you train more as like a distance? Yeah, I'm more of a distance, yeah. mid uh, distance girl. So she's my, my go-to. Cool. Yeah. Well, congrats.